Alrighty, this is my coda, and we'll do it again. So, for the assessments, I believe that we should administer the sensory profile measure. This assessment will determine if sensory difficulties, uh, influences behaviors in the school, home, or the community, and it will identify how sensory qualities of the environment affect its functionality. I believe that we should also administer the easy. This assessment assesses many areas that Matthew's already having difficulty with that we know of. So we will be able to determine his sensory perception, his bilateral motor integration, praxis, and sensory reactivity. I believe that both of these assessments will give us a good basis to go off of for our future intervention sessions with them. Using the Miller relationship function and dysfunction criteria, um, I've assessed that Matthew is experiencing sensory over-responsivity with tactile input, which is chances are is causing these outbursts and adverse behavioral reactions which is negatively impacts his ability to engage socially and form relationship with his peers. <clears throat> Matthew's also experiencing vestibular and proprioceptive discrimination disorder. This is affecting his ability to engage socially with his friends in the neighborhood. Um, he's been getting left alone at home because he's not able to ride his bike in the neighborhood, but the kids in the neighborhood, and then not uh, sleeping and feeling isolated. For my long-term goal, I have said that Matthew will independently ride his bike to engage in social play with his peers in one month. And the two sensory integration activities that I've identified would be a balance activity. So I want them to be on a balance board and play catch. Uh, this will be a safe way to Matthew, for Matthew to begin practicing weight shifting of his body weight and responding appropriately to the changing stimuli. Also, with this, we can place pillows all around him so that if he falls, he will feel safe, and it'll give him proprioceptive input by crashing into this pillow. Um, as the child progresses, we can uh, place toys for him to grab all the way around. Um, we can place toys around him, have him pick up, and that'll increase the difficulty by having him reach out of his base of support, and that'll give him some more vestibular and proprioceptive input. For the second activity, I have identified the tricycle obstacle course. Um, this activity will teach coordinated leg movements, momentum, spatial awareness, and overall body strength to start to move onto a bicycle. For the relationship-based strategy from the STAR model, I have uh, included follow the child's lead. I want to follow the child's lead to focus on what the child is most interested in therapy to get more buy-in from them, and they'll more likely sustain his engagement. So to incorporate this to our sessions, I would allow the child to free play with the tricycle on the floor as he wants, and then I will allow him to help set up with the obstacle course. Perfect. Thanks.